Hey everybody, hey, today we're gonna to be showing you how to properly add an external link to a blog post or a website page so that it opens up in a new tab. We're also gonna show you how to make sure that it's a follow link so Google is able to crawl that link and give the actual authority it needs to to the pages or the websites that you're linking to. But let's get started. All right, so let's get right into this. I wanna show you how to actually get these links set up correctly. We're gonna look at a blog post that's on our website at bullet.media. This is an embedded YouTube video on this blog post. You can then see an embed on a podcast. And when you get down further, you can see some external links that are happening, some internal links. So I wanna be clear that this is, we're talking specifically for external links that you want to do this for the internal links are not something you want to open up a new tab i'm going to show you first thing i'm going to show you is an example of an internal link and what that looks like and how it should be operating so this is an anchor text at google search this is a link to another blog post on our website if you click on this this should open up in you know, the same tab on your website and you can see that that's exactly what happened here in the browser it came it just went to another page on the website or another blog post on the website and that's what happened this is done correctly this is how you want this to operate so let me hit the back button here we're going to go back to that blog post we were just sitting on because there's a there's a bad link in here that i'm going to show you that's not operating correctly that link that's not operating correctly is this link right here it's linking to treasurevalleydave.com and if you click on this link what is happening is this opens up in the same tab, just how the other one just opened up, okay? That's not what we want because the user now has to actually hit the back button to go back to our website and that, and they will just, they'll bounce off and there's a less of a chance of them coming back to our website and actually continuing to stay on our website. Even if they have some interest on this page, there's a better possibility of them jumping back on our site if we set this link up correctly. So jumping back to the blog post again, you're seeing this, the, this, this link here is the correct link. This actually opens the new tab, but we're gonna focus on this one here for treasurelady.com. And I'm gonna jump back into the back end of WordPress, okay? So this, so this site was built with Elementor, so your interface might look a little different if you're using Cadence Blocks or some other type of block editor or page builder. And what you, you see here is this is, the, this is the page, right? So we come down here and we found our text that we have where the links are at. I'll click on this. So the text editor, you'll find that over here, typically on your left-hand side. Go into this text editor, find that link. So once you click on that link, you're then gonna go to the edit button and then you'll hit this little gear icon, link options. And what you're seeing is you're seeing the actual URL of the link that's up top here. Now, when you see that, you also are gonna see down below that there's a checkbox that says open link in a new tab. This is what you wanna do for external links. So I'm gonna click this external link or this open link in a new tab. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. So once I update that, then I'm gonna go back to the blog post that I was on. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the screen. So it's uh, it got a new, new screen here. I'm gonna hit this link again. And now this link you can see in the browser, I got a new tab that went directly to this website, treasurelady.com and then I go and and uh, I can click right back up here on the top and I can get back on that other tab to our website that we were on that we were linking out to. So this is how you want this to operate for external links. So you gotta make sure that you're doing this. I would do this in your pre-publishing review to make sure it's done and set up correctly, all right? So now let's get into why nofollow and why uh, why a no follow link is not good and you want it to be a follow link and we'll show you how the difference how that's done we're going to look at an actual article from simrush that we'll link up in the description all right so let's jump back over here and look at this again so this link here uh, by default the links unless you put a no follow link these links will follow now the follow link was we can look into simrush here this is an article they did here it's, it says what are no follow links a no follow link is our hyperlinks with an REL nofollow attribute in their HTML code. The nofollow value tells Google not to crawl this link. That's not what we want, right? We want them to crawl. So if we're trying to build the domain authority or page authority of a website that we're linking to, especially if we own that link or own that website, and we wanna make sure we're, we're actually building that, we have to make sure that we have a follow link. So the good thing is, by default, it is a follow link unless you put a nofollow, but I'm gonna show you how you don't put a nofollow so you don't accidentally do that okay so what we're going to look at i want to look at the code here real quick to show you how to tell the difference first of all if you have a follow or no follow link in the back end so this is what a no follow looks like okay this is has you can see here it has rel you have your link and then it says 
REL equals no follow. So this is what it would look like when you don't have what you're looking for here. Okay, so if I come down and I wanna do follow link, so do follow links are standard type of hyperlink on the web, you can see that here. These are links without any special care attributes such as no follow, UGC, or sponsored. And that's what these look like. href, HTTPS, uh, example.com, you know, that, that's the link, right? So that's just a typical link that you would see online. Okay, so now let's jump in. I wanna actually show you where that's at in the back end of WordPress, okay? So jump in here. We're gonna go back to this blog and we're gonna click on this link again. So by default, like it said, th this is gonna be a follow link, right? If I wanted it to be no follow, I would have to check this box right here and then update this and it would change that code in the back end and then that would prohibit Google from actually crawling that and giving the domain authority that you need. So what you, you obviously do not want that, so we're gonna uncheck that box and we're just gonna cancel this out. But that is how you do those two things. So make sure you check out the link in the description for this article. There's a lot more information on follow versus no follow links. But to properly set up an external link, make sure you have that tab to where it's opening in a new tab and also make sure that it is a link is a typical follow link to help you get the domain authority or page authority to that page that you are linking for, especially if it's a, another website that you own and you're trying to get to help strategy to build domain authority or page authority for that site. So, all right, hope that was helpful. Like the video if you're getting value from it. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again in the next video.